Hello everyone, Saints man, small van driver on the CX. It is Monday, 2 p.m. God knows when it'll be uh, uploaded, but we'll try later. This is last week, Monday to Friday on the road on the CX. Good week. Um, good week for a couple of things because it was last week before I got two weeks holiday on holiday now. This is the boat we've got a syndicate, and this is our two weeks, two weeks holiday. So, We'll go back to last week, Monday the 6th, which I started. I'd got um, a job quite quickly, um, got on the van from the week before, which I picked up from Chris, and it was to Coles Hill, and it was just a quick, simple job. Uh, £40, 50 pence, no problem. Left home, quarter to eight, uh, and I was in Coles Hill, and got a job instantly, straight away, uh, from Coventry to Hinkley bit of a way to pick up I've done the job before um, and it's 30 quid job it's minimum what minimum job really for me but it was only 26 miles all in so it's more than a pound a mile and then I picked up a job from Lutterworth car parts which I know a few guys do uh, and mine was from uh, Magna Park to Letchworth Hatfield and Woodford Green 103 miles loaded and I've got 119 for it, so it's good money. Yeah, it was three drops, so that makes it. And when you get there, they always say get there between a certain time. It was between quarter past 11 and 12. And I got there at 20 past 11 and you leave at 12. Uh, don't charge waiting time because it's pretty much what it is. You don't get any weight the other end. You're in and out, so it, it doesn't doesn't constitute over an hour waiting for three even the three drops. So I got then... That got me 189.50 because the first job Chris's has worked on my pay structure and he even does it to a 50 pence. So he doesn't round it up or round it down. So I got 189.50 uh, and I was in Woodford Green, which is North London. And we all know North London after three o'clock is very difficult to get a job home without doing it for nothing, which don't really work. Not for me. But then I got a phone call. Um, to pick up uh this was chris is on holiday he, he gave me this job last friday his last job so zoe spoke to me to pick up the next more uh, pick up that night to deliver the next morning so i drove back to northampton from woodford green which is a few a fair few miles nearly 70 dead miles which is not brilliant but i've got a really good job for tuesday good money long distance just what i like so i picked up northampton on the way home got the stuff for tuesday and monday ended up being a 10 hour day for 189.50 and it worked out 66 pence per mile every mile even on the dead miles so we started tuesday uh started early got an early start it was my longest day and i started at 4 30 in the morning i left my house at 4 30 i got southampton exeter and then up to bristol and then cardiff so i got the full that's the long run, the full long run. Uh, I got it for 272. It's a good day. I have to be in Cardiff for two o'clock. That's why I have to leave early, half past four. And I normally get to Cardiff about between one o'clock, half past one latest, depending on how many breaks I have. And then I picked a job straight away. I even had, I hadn't even had time for a break in Cardiff. I got a job from Cardiff to the NEC, which is not far from me. It's 40 miles, 45 miles, an hour on a rough day. Um, yeah, I'm going to pick that up, and it was stuff for an exhibition stand for the next day. It was it was right in the centre of Cardiff, right near the Welsh Assembly, where I'd been a couple of weeks ago. And I picked up four big cases and two banner bags. And I was to meet a gentleman at the NEC. The NEC is massive, it's huge. Everyone knows it. And if you go into halls, it's a bit of a faff getting in. You have to get your van checked in. And put a ticket in the front window and you have to have a wristband even if you're not going in the hall oh, since the new rules uh i suppose it's safety but that's what happened but i got 80 quid for that job um it was nice and easy it was straight in i phoned him up he met me at the entrance to the hall they let me in the hall i took it to his stand which was just inside the door job good and also i got there was a job there from uh chris's company which zoe phoned me no pete phoned me and it was just one drop in Birmingham the next day, early, to the ball ring. And when I was at the NEC, I said, yep, I can do that. It was only two boxes. 
So my day finished Tuesday on 523 miles and I got 352 pounds all in. So it was a mega day, absolutely mega day. Uh, it was 13 hours, but I'd got a load for the Wednesday. Wednesday's bike light, as we all know, at all seasons. Um, so I'll try and get back every day, on every Wednesday. And this day, because I was going to Birmingham first thing, I'd already decided instead of doing anything long distance, I would try and stay pretty much around the area. Didn't quite work out like that, but still got back for bike night. I did the job to the ball ring. Again, anyone who's been to the ball ring, you don't head for where the front is, you look for the deliveries. deliveries. It's always around the back, in the centre. I've been there once before. It is a bit of a faff. Security wants to see it here and everywhere, but got it delivered pretty quick and picked a job up from Birmingham. I left there at 6.30. I was in the ball ring for 8 o'clock, delivered. And I picked a job at Birmingham's Coventry from a self-storage locker, got the codes, and it was to Coventry. It was a really short job, 12 miles all in, and I was only a mile from it. So instead of about 30, I cheekily went in with 29 and got it straight away. I wish I'd have probably put 30 now, whether he, no one likes doing a short job, first thing, but didn't didn't bother me. So I picked it up from the storage, self-storage. Uh, they give me the code to the everything, and it was all... 10 minutes, I was in and out, um, and to commentary, easy, down to 45, just off the A45, and I'd already see there was Lutterworth on there, what I did Monday, to Letchworth, uh, Hatfield, and Woodford Green, and could I do it Monday for that, I thought, I could still do that from Coventry, it's not far to Lutterworth, and it gets me money, pretty good money, uh, virtually up to 200 again, so... Sorry, it's my gorgeous wife just gone by. We're parked in the middle of a Ramworth Broads on the Norfolk Broads in our boat. Just put the mud weight down for a bit of lunch. So I would have done this outside, but it just shows me a silhouette in black. It doesn't show, which is probably a good thing. But anyway, back to Wednesday. And I've done the Birmingham to Coventry, and I see the one at Lutterworth. It was 12, 20 to 1 o'clock, and it was about half past 10, quarter to 11. I thought, Do you know what? If I do that, I know it's easy, I know where I'm going, I'll get good money for it, and I'll probably get home in time for bike night and still be on pretty good money, because I've done the Birmingham to Coventry at more than a pound a mile. And then a job popped up, Coventry to Coventry. And I thought, and I'd already booked the Letterworth one, I'd already phone, uh, got in touch, put the same price, 119 and they phoned me instantly, and I did the job, uh, and I, quite, I said, yep, yeah, I can do it. I got an hour and a half to kill to get to Lutterworth. It was half hour away, so I got an hour to kill. Job come up, Coventry to Coventry, 4.3 miles, and I was one mile from it. So I thought, I've got to have a crack at this. And I quoted 25 because it was only five. It was, well, it ended up at 6.8 miles because I, I checked in total from where I was in Coventry. And I quoted 25 and I got it. And it was a bit of a faff. I had to go DHL. Uh, which is no, not a problem normally you go where the customer collects but they had to go and hunt for it it took them about 15 minutes and then you start getting a bit anxious thinking I need to be at uh, Toyota at Lutterworth by between 12, 20 and 1 and I was getting a bit like yep yeah, we need this please and anyway I got it delivered it and it was to uh, the building blocks of flats in the centre of Coventry which I found the straight away the company didn't find the man his phone was engaged but security knew exactly who he was said we can sign for it and i took a photo they asked for a photo took a photo of it all so they knew it had been delivered that was good got across to lutterworth and it was 25 past 11 so i was in my time zone of 11 20 to 12 o'clock and again it was 12 o'clock five to 12 before i got all the goods uh easy again same thing Straight on the motorway, uh, it's not hard, down the M1, cut across at Junction 13, d deliver all three, get it done. But again, I'm getting nothing out of Woodford Green. I finished it there about, I was going to say about quarter past three, 20 past three, something like that. I was looking for somewhere out of Wood, anywhere near to go north. There's stuff going into London and stuff going to Kent and Southampton, but I want to get back for the bike night, so I'm not quoting on them. Uh, I was waiting for anything. There was a job popped up. Stevenage to... I can't remember now. But quoted on it. As low as I'll go. Didn't get it. But I got enough money with the two little jobs. Birmingham Coventry. Coventry to Coventry. Really good money. 
I could drive home from Woodford Green and I was still on 76 pence every mile, which is van rate is very good for a small van. I did 295 mile and I got 223 pounds. So another good day over the target of 200 and with Tuesday, 352 and 189 Monday, it's going to be a good week. What it allows me to do is the rest of the week is just to go a couple of little jobs each day and just chill out ready for the holiday, which we're going away. So Thursday, a job pinged up um, quite early from half a mile from where I live from a, from a um, yeah, courier company, more logistics, but courier as well. It's a lot of work on the CX and I've, I've put a quote in. It's always quote online and he never phones. I'm used to him now. He never phones. He just sends the job through and you've got to accept it or reject it. That's the way he works. A lot of people don't like that. I'm, if you're not looking at your phone all the while, but if he sent it through within about two minutes, the job confirmed. So we did that job, Northampton, one big box going to Gloucester. Uh, it was going to the docks at Gloucester. Some I didn't know, the big warehouses, National Health stuff. Delivered that, that was £80. Good, good mileage again. And then I thought, I've got to get, I'm going to come back. So I, I forget every job that went south or west or Cardiff, I didn't even look at. But a job on there, Cheltenham to Redditch. Redditch is a good spot, south of uh, Birmingham. And Cheltenham weren't far. I quoted 39 on it. It was 38 miles all in. But I quoted 39 and got it. Got me to Redditch. And then I'm looking for somewhere back closer. And a job popped up, Rugby, which is a fair, while, fair way from Redditch to Wellingborough, which is about eight miles from my house. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go for that. Uh, I've got 219 already in the bank. Uh, I'll quote on this. I'll quote, I won't, I'll, I'll forget the dead miles, get into it. And I'll quote on the job. I'll quote 37 and got it. And it was um, Volvo to Volvo, just parts into, st into store, transaction of parts. Uh, one part, believe it or not, it was a motor. Uh, and that went to Volvo Wellingborough. So me thinking, that's it, my day's done. I've only got Friday. I can do an 120 quid day, be absolutely spot on. And as I left Wellingborough Volvo, a job popped up Rushden, which is just up the road, to Guildford. I thought that's no good because I'm not interested in, the, you know, go to Guildford Thursday. But it was delivery in the morning. Pick up then, deliver at nine o'clock in the morning in Guildford. So I thought that's, that's good because when I'm at Guildford, I'll just look for a job home and I'm on Aldi. I didn't have to look for a job home. Because further down the notes, it was a wait and return. So it was pick up Thursday afternoon, where I was. Go to Guildford for Friday morning, wait and return. So I quoted on it. Quoted 135. Let's get that right. No, I quoted 140. But then I phoned as well. Um, and I said, and I, said so I quoted on job 140. He said, yeah. He says, can you do it for 130? I said, I could do it for 135. I said, but that's the lowest. He said, yeah. He says, there's also a problem. The wait, the last time they did this job was four hours. He says, so there's waiting time. I said, okay. I said, what are you looking at charging? I was thinking £20 an hour. And that's exactly what he said. He says, we can get you a maximum of £20 an hour. I said, that's okay. Do £20 an hour. And if it runs over another half an hour or a quarter of an hour, we'll do it at £5 a quarter. He went, that's no problem at all. So I went to pick it up um there and then and i thought if it's waiting time there's waiting time you know as long as i'm back because i wanted i'd bust my phone i broke cracked the glass on my phone so i was going to renew my phone friday before we went on aldi and i went over to rushden and i've been this place before it's a transport company really nice guys and uh it was i see a little pallet there i didn't see a forklift truck and i see a couple of other boxes he said oh these have got to go and the, the thing was 100 kilos i thought right how are we getting this on? And he got a little trolley. He lifted the pallet slightly ajar, shoved the trolley under it, slid it back on the trolley, and it was like a, a little pump truck trolley. Lifted it to the height of the van, and in the van it went. I says, that's great. I says, has the engineer got a pallet truck at the other end? He says, we don't need to, because you could take this. And it folded down like a sack barrow. So I took it, and obviously, because I'm going back there Friday with this return load back to this transport company. So I took that home, that was Thursday done, and again, another good day, did 156, uh, just three jobs, 
uh, and that suited me and I did 244 miles 64 pence all in so then we're on to Friday and I've already got it sorted out um, and Friday was just a lovely relaxing day I went down to Guildford I had to be there at 9 I decided to leave a lot earlier because M25 at 8 o'clock is a joke so I decided I was going to leave about 6 o'clock and I got there about 10 to 8 so I was there an hour early, found a McDonald's just about four miles away. It was in the middle of nowhere. It weren't in Guildford. It was uh, about five miles out of Guildford, but nice business park. And there was a McDonald's four miles up the road. Got a coffee, got a uh, breakfast bat, which was shocking. Absolute crap. I know they're cheap, but they're cheap for a reason. Um, and I got back to the company where the engineer was going to meet me. And he turned up about five to nine. Sure enough, he took the stuff in. Really nice guy. Come from Turkey. Been over here three years. And yeah, the company he worked for trans um, paid his relocation costs to England. And really nice bloke. And it was a, a huge part for a cap machine, a CAT scanner. But not for humans. It was for stones. I went to an oil company. And they're looking through stones for oil or fuel. And it comes from all over the world, these stones. These big tubular stones. And they're checking... And he was sorting out the cap machine. So, interesting. But I went and waited. And he says, are you all right if you can give me a hand lifting the thing in? Well, I, at 100 kilos, I said, yeah, okay. He says, just putting it in the machine. He said, I don't need you for a bit. He said, you can stay out in the van. And he said, I'll give you a ring. I went, okay. So, I went out the van. And I thought, well, good chance to clean the van. Day four, I go on holiday. Give it a real good clean. I emptied the van. Cleaned it all out. And started watching the 15 minutes. Fiver. Half an hour. Turner. 45 minutes and it went up an hour 20 quid waiting it's fine got a large coffee then it went to another hour so we're up to two hours that's 40 quid and then he came out not long after two hours up i said oh, do you want a hand he said no i got it in he said i used the, the little pallet pump thing and it was perfect height in it went he said i'm just having a quick cup of coffee he said we'll load you back up i went no problem which we did he had his coffee I went in, we loaded four boxes on there. I needed the pallet truck for one of them, like the big one, the one he took out, the defective one, and put it in the van, loaded the van chocker, and then I phoned the shipper before I left to make sure that the waiting time was going to be okay. It worked out at 45 quid, so from 135 it went to 180. And he went, that's absolutely brilliant. He said, I'll, I'll put it on now. He says, so you got it on there, edited it, put it on the CX and edited the CX booking. And by the time I'd left the, re uh, the business park, it pinged through and he'd done it 180 so i drove it back traffic was horrendous it didn't even google didn't even put me on the m3 or the m25 straight up to ascot uh and straight up and kept going up and it come up further up just past Heathrow. missed a lot of traffic took me two and a quarter hours and i was back at rushden finished at the transport company by about half two uh yes it was eight and a half hours but it was three hours of that waiting well three three and a quarter hours it worked out five hour day i suppose but the mileage was for that day on a friday was only 214 miles all in that's every mile and i got 180 pound for that so it worked at 85 pence a mile so good stuff the waiting time worked um and that finished my week that's it two weeks holiday two weeks holiday started my holiday prep because Saints lost to Leicester in the, in the Cup semi-final, in the playoffs. Should have won. I don't normally call certain players out, but Courtney, Courtney Scoson, our South African winner, a top try scorer, by the way, he had a shocker. He dropped four try sports, three try scoring passes, and he dropped one as he was going over the line as well. If he'd have scored his, we'd have won by miles. But you play as a team. You lose as a team, you win as a team. He, but he just had a bit of a shocker. Um, and Leicester beat us, which is, but it's a good day. It's a good day. The guys, I didn't expect us to win. We were massive underdogs, and at half time, and in fact, up to sixty minutes, we looked like they were going to win, but he couldn't catch a cold. But hey, but still on two weeks early. So we left Leicester after the game. The game didn't kick off till half four, and by the time we left there, it was gone half seven, and we got down to Norwich to our boat. We had fish and chips on the way at Huntingdon, which were very nice. And we got down to the boat at up as 10. So it's pitch black, but we chucked all stuff on, got the bedding sorted, and off we set Sunday morning. And we are in Ramworth Broad today. We stopped at Yarmouth Yacht Station last night. 
Uh, we stopped there yesterday afternoon, got there this afternoon, had a little wander around reminiscing about when we were a lot younger. And now we're at Ramworth and we're going to spend two weeks. So I don't think I'm going to do, I might do a short one during next week. I'm not even going to think about fuel prices because mine's just shot up again. I've just looked at Val on the runs, actually, while I was, I was listening to it while I was coming up through Yarmouth because it was a bit boring, the bit, that bit of the river. And it looks as though he's going to knock it on the edge and by the end of the year because he's going to do his class two and class one and fair play to you it's going to get you more money and if you've lost your mojo doing what you're doing you got to get you got to get out uh you're doing it for the wrong reasons really because there's you ain't gonna make mountains of money doing this but if you get an enjoyment and enjoy your job you can make a living so but you work hard but hey that's my thing oh another thing i'm going to give a quick plug to he hasn't asked me but I'm going to do it anyway. It's Neil at Neptune Couriers. So if you go on Neptune Couriers on Facebook, he's now passed his transport manager's qualifications, which he can do, I think, remotely. So anywhere, he's in Scotland. So if any of you drivers or anyone on air who subscribes are looking for a transport manager to help out, he may be your guy. Put a comment if you want on mine or go to his Facebook, uh, his um, YouTube channel, Neptune Couriers. And... Perhaps one or two you can link up. He's looking for a couple of clients. He's a great bloke. So you get that one for nothing, Neil. I'll put the invoice in the post because I don't do nothing for nothing. Um, that's pretty much it. The figures. I did 1,560 miles. I worked 52 hours every hour. So it's about 10 hours a day. 37 hours driving uh, this week, all in. And 1,100 pounds and 50 pence, the 50 p's generated from like i said computer one of the jobs they do it from a computer so it was a good week 1100 pound week uh and friday had a nice easy day friday so four goodish days and one just a steady day averaged out 71 pence every mile that's from leaving home to going home you're gonna need that now because fuel i guarantee is going over two pounds because my fuel cards have gone up i've seen fuel at two pounds and i've seen most fuel nothing under 190 really I can't see anything any under 190 and my fuel cards are now at 186 and 187 you know just looking for me book so yeah you're gonna have to be making that take off the vat with the vat it works out 1320 and 60p but you take off my nine percent because i'm still first year with a uh, lower rate vat uh and it still works out at 1200 so it's not too bad that's gonna be it it's going to be a short one this week now because I'm on holiday and we're going to move the boat. We're probably going to back it onto a jetty where the pub is. And we're going to have a chill, have a little, probably a little walk. And then we're going to chill out. So probably put a video on sometime, end of the week. I'll perhaps try and do it outside, but it just makes me a silhouette because it's bright and the weather's looking good. So hope you all make money. Hope you're all working hard. Speak next week.